While refrigerators can differ from model to model, they all operate on similar principles. In this video, we will identify the four main factors of refrigerator operation, as well as potential problems you may encounter. Refrigerators help preserve food and keep beverages cold by removing the heat from the inside of the appliance. To accomplish this, a refrigerator uses a sealed system that pumps refrigerant through a set of coils. The system includes a compressor, a pump which compresses the refrigerant in gas form into the condenser coils, where the gas is condensed into a hot liquid. The condenser coils dissipate the heat as the liquid travels through them. Over time, these coils can collect dust, dirt, and hair, which prevents the coils from properly dissipating the heat. If you notice that the refrigerator is not cooling properly, the condenser coils may need to be cleaned. Once the refrigerant has passed through the condenser coils and the capillary tube, it travels to the evaporator coils, which are located in the freezer. As the refrigerant liquid enters these coils, it expands into a gas, which makes the coils cold. The gas flows through the coils to a suction line attached to the compressor. The compressor converts the gas back into a liquid, and the cooling cycle continues. You can determine if there is a cooling problem with this system by observing the evaporator coils while the refrigerator is running. If the system is operating properly, there should be a consistent frost pattern on all of the evaporator coils. If only one or two rows contain frost and the rest do not, it's likely that the sealed system has developed a restriction or a leak. Be aware that any repairs to the system must be performed by a licensed technician. The temperature within the refrigerator should be between 35 and 40 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature in the freezer should be 0 degrees Fahrenheit or lower. The temperature is regulated by the refrigerator control. Depending on the model, the control may be a thermostat switch and sensing bulb assembly or an electronic control board that works with one or more sensors. Be aware that some models will have a separate control for the freezer. To cool both the refrigerator and freezer, the control allows voltage to travel to the start relay and compressor, as well as to the condenser fan motor and evaporator fan motor. Once the proper temperatures are reached, the control shuts off the voltage to the cooling system. Keep in mind that it's normal for the temperatures to vary throughout this cycle. Airflow is vital for refrigerators to work properly. To cool the condenser coils, the condenser fan draws in air from the front of the appliance, sends it through the condenser itself, and then circulates the air back out the grill. At the same time, the evaporator fan draws air from the refrigerator into the freezer. The air passes through the evaporator coils, which remove the heat from the air. The air then circulates back into the refrigerator, continuing the cycle. Most models will have a damper door to control the airflow from the freezer to the refrigerator. This damper may be automatically controlled by a temperature control or manually controlled by the user. If the food or beverages in the refrigerator compartment start to freeze, the damper door could be stuck open. If the refrigerator will not cool properly, but the freezer appears to be working, the door could be stuck closed, or the evaporator fan may have failed and will need to be replaced. As we mentioned earlier, the evaporator coils collect frost as the air from the refrigerator passes through them. Since frost buildup can cause airflow problems, the coils require periodic defrosting. Older models needed to be defrosted manually, but most of today's models use an automatic defrost system. The basic components in this system are the defrost heater, the defrost thermostat, and the defrost control. Depending on the model, the control may be a defrost timer or a defrost control board. A defrost timer turns the heater on for about 25 minutes two or three times a day to prevent the evaporator coils from frosting over. A defrost control board will also turn the heater on periodically, but will regulate it more efficiently. 
If the control, thermostat, or heater fail, the evaporator coils will likely frost over, causing poor cooling in the refrigerator. You can test both the thermostat and heater for continuity to determine if a continuous electrical path is present. If both the thermostat and heater test positive for continuity, it's likely that the control is defective and will need to be replaced. Repair Clinic has a solution for many of the problems you may be experiencing with your refrigerator. Enter the appliance's full model number in our website search engine for a complete list of compatible parts. Our site also has an extensive selection of instructional videos to assist you, covering topics like part testing, disassembly, and part replacement. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy.